Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome to more AJ, I'm AJ Moore, and today I'm gonna show you how I make these quote-unquote meat and cheese empanadas. They are so delicious, flaky, crispy. The filling is delicious. I'm going to make a totally vegan version and a vegetarian version. And I'm using Goya brand empanada dough as well as Beyond Meat for the meat and some fresh veggies. So first thing I'm doing is I'm just heating up approximately two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil, but you can use any type of oil you have. And then I chopped up my onions and all of my peppers and I'm gonna go ahead and saute them in the hot oil until the onions are opaque and the peppers are nice and soft. So you know I do not like to use too many pans because I like to cut down on my cleaning time. So I'm going to move these vegetables over to the side and I'm going to brown my Beyond Meat in the same pan. So now I'm gonna go ahead and season up these, this meat with some nice good old onion powder and then I'm gonna use some garlic powder and some adobo and sasson and chili powder and a little bit of seasoned salt. If you decide to make this dish, and I strongly recommend that you do, by all means use whatever seasonings you like. So the last thing I'm doing is I'm adding some freshly chopped cilantro. I love cilantro and I feel like the addition of it and this meat filling just really, really tops it off nicely with flavor. <laughs> So now it's time to prepare the empanada dough for the filling. Once the, um, the dough, they call them discs, so once the discs are thawed out and out of the package, they're a little bit on the sticky side, so you want to add a little bit of, dust it with some flour, and then roll it a little bit. You want to flatten it out just a little bit so that when it fries up, it fries up nice and crispy. Thank you. 
Now it's time to add the filling. Two tablespoons works well. You don't want to overfill it because you don't want the filling to fall out when it's frying. So two tablespoons is just about right. So now I'm going to um, fold the dough over the filling and then seal it with a fork. Super, super, super easy to do this. This right here is the vegan version. So now I'm making the vegetarian version of the empanada by adding some provolone cheese. Now for these empanadas, if you decide to make it, you can use any type of cheese you like to use. Um, my husband happens to like provolone, so I'm using provolone. So this is the vegetarian version. Before frying, you want to make sure that your oil is really, really hot. And one way of um, kind of telling that it's hot enough is when you put your empanadas in and they float right to the top. That's a good indication that your oil is definitely hot enough. So while cooking, you want to flip them a couple of times so that they brown evenly on both sides, but it really doesn't take long to cook. The total cooking time for these two empanadas was no longer than about three or four minutes.
So there it is, super easy meat and cheese empanadas. This is the vegan version. Oh man, it's nice and crispy and smells delicious. And then I'm gonna show you the vegetarian version. Nice and cheesy and it smells so, so good. So my recommendation, if you're looking to cut down on meat, go ahead and try this version. It was delicious. Every day is gonna 